building report. Yes. First item discussion on a shoreway bride maintenance resolution. I have a draft resolution that I have not forwarded to you. As I was drafting it, one, I didn't have the figures that Bob shared with Kim at, with some sort of amortization schedule and how much. Oh, I thought you handed something to Kim last month. Yeah. I just gave her the sheet that showed who was in favor of. It was a Excel spreadsheet. Oh, I, okay. I can I can give it I can give it to you. Um, I can email it to you. I don't know that. I, okay. If you want it, I can have it here in five minutes. It's in my car. Well, I don't think that's all the information I need. As I was drafting it, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be budgeted. And, you know, during the budget process, when roads are chosen as to which roads will be fixed, that'll go on there. There'll be money set aside for it. But then I remembered, we often uh, take out a loan for our road work projects. The town is going to have to bid this job itself. Um, and then with respect to paying off the terms of the loan, the town will have in its own name. You're going to have to have to collect enough per year with the special assessment to make all the loan payments. And unless everyone's paying their tax bill in full, if they're only paying half by December 31st and waiting until June to pay the other half, we, want, we need to make sure that the loan is structured so we'll always have enough money to pay the, uh, the loan requirements, even if, let's say, everyone only paid half of the property tax bill instead of the full amount. And I think Bob had some good numbers. He said he was he was gonna like structure the payments to be done in three and a half years six or something. Years if the loan was five years. What I what I thought is do like a six or seven year loan from the bank, okay. but amortize it over five years for the people who are paying. So the actual amount owed is less than what you're collecting every year. So that way, if someone does not pay their taxes or you don't, you've got someone who skips a couple of years. Right. You've always got a little bit of overage to cover that. And if everyone pays as scheduled, it would be paid off early. Do you have numbers? If you want, I can go get them. Go get them, please. Do special assessments go on always it's, on the first half? Yes, they do. So if, say, your yeah. tax bill was $4,000 and you have a $300 special assessment for this, you're going to owe... That's so always paid in the first, first half. So then we don't okay. have to worry about that. No, we don't. Yeah. But has any determination been made about the not to exceed... Three, three mills. Mm -hmm. I mean, we won't know until the job's bid, I'm assuming. Right. But, but it would, you yeah. said it was three mills per thousand dollars, wouldn't that? Which, which is I believe that's what the statute reads. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were several hundred yeah. dollars below that. We yeah. should be. Yeah. We should be. But I, I couldn't finish this until I had some numbers. And, I don't, and what happens if you over collect? Then I have to refund everybody. After so, everything is done, done, yeah. it would have to reverse process would be so a credit. Have to check to everybody. Not a credit, a refund check would have to be paid. You can't credit people. Well, and at the end of it, we'll do another resolution terminating our action, approving this mm -hmm. action. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, 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 Bob's getting that. Our discussion we had last month, there was like three things. One of them was just address there and make sure we're out of short and we get the payments. But the other one I think is a precedent. Remember you said? Yeah. And Michelle, you said one thing, what was it? Was it I think you had the same concern about if you had enough money to make the payment. I think that's what you said. Yeah, but uh, Bob had it very well thought out. Well, and he was also did. including, you know, for your hours and so mm -hmm. forth that yeah. did you see the numbers? Well no, he oh, talked he about it. Oh, yeah. he, he had it. Yeah. I was gonna say if you haven't them to me, yeah, no, no, I, I didn't have them. Physical yeah. All right. Any other concerns? Start. You need more information so you can yes. do a draft resolution. So we can put it on for next month. Okay. And both Dean and, and Kim, the concern was the payment deal. Yes, there's administration time involved here. Uh, we know that. Uh, Barb, do you have any other concerns on this? I guess then the only other question is, I, I believe they're looking to get it done this year, right, Bob? And 
Yeah. Yeah. Can we just make an ordinance that says not to exceed three mils? Well, it really doesn't matter what the quote is as long as it doesn't exceed three mils, right? I think it has to be more specific than that. Uh, the bank that's going to be providing the loan is probably going to want to see the authorizing document. Well, we'll have to get a bid first. This would be year two. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Todd, that, that back end of the road is very terrible, but yeah. you, could, you could potentially call it another year. Yeah, you could get another year out of the mill. Yeah, so it ain't the best. I think they prefer, but. You know, if something goes really crazy with oil prices, they will yeah, right. decide that. Well, that's right. Right. I know that's thirty percent in two weeks. One of the things that Bob and I chatted about was that Jim was asking some questions. This was if people paid up front. We talked about that. I don't think we should make that an option. Who's the piece? Yeah, we're saying that an option. It's got to be the right. Either everybody's paying up front or nobody's paying up front. as to where we're at on this. I've got a board meeting for all the residents on our street on Saturday. So I thought last month when it came to the board, you guys voted unanimously that it could be put on the tax rolls. And now sure, it looks like there is more than the details, and we still have to figure out you didn't have the numbers, and we can't. And have then the there's board. going to be a discussion once the resolution is drafted to you know, confirm their oral go ahead. Nothing happens fast. I'm glad we're in the last year and a half. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we, we're not, I mean, we're not far off. Oh, no, it would take long. But it'll go on. It's a process. Yeah. I guess what, no, what numbers are you looking for? Because Todd's going to have to bid it out. I've only got an estimate from April. Oh, the town's going to have to bid it out. Yeah, Todd. You're the town. Todd. Yeah. Todd. Todd. So. Can't tell you. No clue. I'm not in charge of everyone else's schedule. We're helping if that helps. We're just, just going to take a little time to write all this stuff up. Right, right. And I actually have that mostly drafted. What's that? Already? Five months. 
We just started asking with them at right. the end to see if we could do that and we only meet once a month. And it's, trust me. If there wouldn't be so many junk ordinances on a schedule, it'd be. But I didn't have to listen to you for an hour in the meeting. And I think, oh my God. Yeah, we're going to stop the chief and mix it Okay, so you're going to get whatever else you need. Every meeting uh, for two years. Like it's, the it's the chief. It's the chief. It's the chief. It's the chief. Yeah. We'll talk about the hotel tonight, so I okay. changed my plan. Gotcha. All right, move on here. Uh, discuss grant aging the UTD. Yes, that will be on uh, next month as well. At the annual meeting, a question was asked, I believe, by uh, Ted Zess can 45 mile an hour roads be included? And I said I would have to look into it. And yes, all town roads can be ATV routes. The only roads that would need the county to approve them as ATV routes, because we don't have any that are 35 or less, would be state highways, county highways. Now you can cross those, but uh, J, ES, any part of 20 or L, those would not be ATV routes unless the county said they could be. And the county safety uh, committee is discussing that. that yeah, they're looking into that right now. Yeah. Rick Stacy told me that. Yeah. So, and then Todd gave me a draft ordinance that's um, pared down a little from what I put out there as a possible draft. In that possible draft, I made reference to other conditions like insurance requirements. Our ordinance has to be in strict conformity with Chapter 23. I don't believe Chapter 23 has any insurance requirement in it. So I would have to go through, change the draft that everyone was given for the annual meeting, and it's going to have to be pared back a little bit. But I can't include all town roads in it. Yeah. Well, it's just it's more or less fine tuning it. Yes, fine tuning. Yes. And it does say that the ATV shall not be operated at a speed greater than the posted speed limits. Does that mean up to 45? I know yes. yes, it does mean. Yes. Yeah. And so you have to have a driver's license, a car driver's license. Yep. To do that. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'll make reference to Chapter 23. And um, the administrative code regarding uh, the natural resource admin code. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. That would have right. further conditions in there. I did get a couple calls uh, recently saying, "Are you kidding me?" And they're worried about safety. But sure. Remember how it started uh, back in I think it was February. The petition went around. 120 signatures were submitted to this board. When I cross reference the addresses, 100 of them are town residents, okay? And then at the annual meeting, the vote was 42 32 to continue looking at it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean we have to, it doesn't mean anything other than that was the recommendation, okay? But what I want this board to think of a little bit two things. One, uh, is this a big enough issue that it should be a, a referendum issue to the you know, town wide importance? No. And the second question that goes with that, I've been advised, maybe incorrectly, by a town of Delavan uh, chairman, I believe. He said that if you do an advisory referendum, it is binding. And I go, well, why? And he said it is. If you do a referendum, it's not advisory. I know there's advisory referendums out there. There are. I know this is not one of the powers in 6010. That the town would have other jurisdiction over. Yep. Right. So that's something to think about. Why does it I mean we're gonna see a more of a final draft on that, but I want, want you to consider that to discuss it next month is do you think it's a, a big enough you know town no. importance that it should be? I don't know the answer to that. No. Um, like I said, I do have uh have, and I'll let the town association of this guys tell me this because they they did an uh, ordinance or uh, a referendum for this specific issue, mm -hmm. and they called it advisory. And they were informed that it was. Did Carol tell them that at town association? No, Carol did not. Oh. I would. That'd be the first one I would So, anyway, um, so we'll, next month we'll have that.
Yes, yes I'll have a, a new draft next month. Well, I had a question about the hours of operation. Why can't we make it from sunrise to sunset? I mean, the hours because are going to change. No, a lot of this actually, I would. I, I Ice fishing at night. See them even earlier because there's a lot of this. I think is going to be for fishing, is especially during the winter months. Mm -hmm. and, like, people fish all night for walleyes, they're, yeah. and they're actually fishing all. Of them. Is it a short day to start? Oh, we were right. Yeah. Exactly. There are yeah. lighting requirements and brake light requirements yep. and yeah. helmet requirements. But I know like for certain people, a lot of fishermen and stuff like that. Is that they, okay. they'll, they'll use all those hours. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Hey, can somebody authorize Mills to call the county? To do what? To, to make sure that, see if we can just concur with the rest of the county and get the little stretch of Highway J to be able to use it. Because once you pass this, then the board can authorize. Otherwise, you create a nightmare for the police department. Well, we haven't have passed any of it yet, so uh, yes, that could come later. All right. Yes. Uh, next resolution 2022-2. I'm sorry, seven. Resolution accepting the remaining 0 0.213 miles of South Shore Drive as a town road. It reads, whereas in 1969 there was a declaratory judgment trial held to the court in the Circuit Court of Walworth County, and whereas as a result of that trial, Circuit Court Judge Ernst John Watts drafted and signed findings of fact and conclusions of law attached here to incorporated as Exhibit A, which found that, quote, South Shore Road, Camambula Lake, end quote, as legally described therein, had been used for more than 50 years as a 33-foot-wide public highway. And whereas, as a result of the ruling described above, a judgment attached hereto and incorporated herein by reference as Exhibit B was signed by the Clerk of Circuit Court for Walworth County on December 26, 1969, and whereas, despite the finding that South Shore Drive is a public highway, no resolution of the town of East Troy accepting the remaining 0 0.213 miles of South Shore Drive having been found. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of East Troy, Walworth County, Wisconsin, by this resolution, adopted by a majority of the board on roll call vote and with a quorum present in voting, and proper notice having been, having been given, resolves and declares as follows. One, that the last 0 0.213 miles of South Shore Drive, whose legal description is included on both exhibits A and B, is accepted as a town road. A highlighted map of the accepted town road is attached as exhibit C. The highlighted portion of the road terminates at the island bridge. Two, that it is in the public interest that the remaining 0 0.213 miles of South Shore Drive be accepted by the town of East Troy. Three, by virtue of the findings of fact and conclusions of law and judgment referenced above as exhibits A and B respectively. The town accepts the remaining 0 0.213 miles of South Shore Drive at its current width. The town specifically finds that the presumptive width of a public highway of 66 feet wide is impractical and impossible due to the actual width of South Shore Drive. For those same reasons, the town waives the requirement a public highway have a minimum width of 49.5 feet. Four, the town clerk shall properly post or publish this resolution as required under 60.80 Wisconsin statutes. A little background on this. When I was doing my road research to make sure all of our town roads were getting state aid, I found that this one was missing and then I was when I found this lawsuit, um, it was like, well, there's got to be a resolution for it, but I couldn't find it. And then when I submitted it to DOT so we could get the aid for it, we get, what did we get, like 5,000 bucks a mile? Close to about 5,000. Something like that. So, you know, we're going to do it. So I sent it to the DOT and they said, we need a resolution where you declare it on town road. Then you can apply. Or a variance on the issue of the 49 and a half feet versus the 33. We didn't cause this, the, the judge did, as laid out here. 
So this thing gets approved, I can then submit for an exception for the uh, standards that we get. Uh, and they reach out to the town has redone that road before. We paid to have that part of that road done. Are you expanding the right of way there? That road has been redone since I moved here. I don't know. And it, and it wasn't by people that live on it. So the town has already done that once, I think. Well, this lawsuit was in 69, and it's mm -hmm. true, I was not on the board in 1960. <laughs> okay, so that's the background on it. That's why we're doing this. You say, what the heck? The road's been there for over 100 years. It was 50 years back in 69. Right. So it was 103 years, you know, using the public road. Uh, and I think possibly what you said there is probably a thing that killed the case because the town said it's not a town road, and the judge said, well, you need to improve this and you work it. <laughs> it is going to be used. Well, it used to just be horseshoe pits with them dirt. Okay. Think of that too. Okay, so we need a motion of resolution 2022-7. I move that we approve resolution 2022-7. Second. Accepting the last Point two one three miles of South Shore Drive as a town road. We have a second. Second. Uh, we have a motion to second. Any further discussion? This thing calls for a roll call vote to be recorded. Klaikowski, aye. Will, aye. Worker, aye. Frank, aye. Church, aye. All right, do you have a clean copy? I do. Do you have the attachments? Yes, I do. Exhibits? Exhibits, yeah. Anybody have the health score?